Welcome back. Go ahead and suffocate the like button. Stick around until the end to see our next disturbing story you can't afford to miss. Point Pleasant Mothman In the shadowed heart of Point Pleasant, West Virginia, where the Ohio and Kanawha rivers converge, the legend of the Mothman has been whispered for generations. Described as a creature of immense size, with glowing red eyes and wings that black out the moon, it was both feared and revered, a harbinger of doom for those who dared to cross its path. Julia, a young journalist with a skeptic's heart and a curiosity that burned brighter than her fear, ventured into the dense forests surrounding Point Pleasant. Armed with nothing but her camera and a voice recorder, she sought to uncover the truth behind the myth, to dispel the fog of superstition with the light of reason. As night fell, enveloping the forest in a cloak of darkness, Julia felt a palpable shift in the air, a charge that prickled her skin and made the hairs on the back of her neck stand on end. It was then she heard it, a low, mournful cry that seemed to come from everywhere and nowhere, a sound that chilled her blood and rooted her to the spot. The Mothman emerged from the shadows, its red eyes piercing the darkness, fixing Julia in a gaze that felt like a weight upon her soul. She ran, her feet barely touching the ground, the Mothman's wings beating a terrible rhythm in the air behind her. Julia's rational mind struggled to comprehend the nightmare that pursued her, the embodiment of every dark tale she had ever dismissed as mere folklore. The forest became a labyrinth, each turn taking her deeper into the creature's domain. The Mothman's cries a constant reminder of its relentless pursuit. As she stumbled through the underbrush, Julia's thoughts raced. The Mothman, she realized, was not just a creature of myth, it was a guardian of thresholds, a keeper of secrets, too terrible for the human mind to bear. Her quest for the truth had brought her to the edge of a precipice, the boundary between the known world and the abyss of the unknown. And as the Mothman closed in, its massive form blotting out the stars, Julia understood that her pursuit of knowledge had led her into a trap, not of physical constraints, but of existential terror. The Mothman, an entity beyond her understanding, was not merely chasing her, it was showing her the futility of her quest, the danger of peering too deeply into the abyss. In a final desperate bid for escape, Julia found herself at the edge of the TNT area, the abandoned munitions site long rumored to be the Mothman's lair. The ground beneath her feet was tainted, the air thick with an unspoken dread. Here, the boundary between the Mothman's world and hers was at its thinnest. With nowhere left to run, Julia turned to face her pursuer, the creature's immense wings casting shadows that seemed to swallow the light. Its eyes, burning with an otherworldly fire, fixed on her, a silent judgment passed. Then without warning, the Mothman lunged, not with the intent to harm, but to reveal. In a moment of terrifying clarity, Julia saw not just the creature before her, but the countless realities that lay beyond, each more horrifying and incomprehensible than the last. The Mothman, she realized, was not a harbinger of doom, but a guardian against these unspeakable horrors, its presence a barrier between her world and the chaos that sought to breach it. As the creature vanished into the night, leaving Julia alone in the silence of the TNT area, she was no longer the skeptic who had entered the forest. She had sought the truth behind the legend, only to find herself faced with a reality far beyond her comprehension. The Mothman's warning, its mournful cry, echoed in her mind as she made her way back to civilization, a harrowing reminder of the night she had come face to face with the unknown. The experience left her with more questions than answers, her quest for knowledge replaced by a deep, unsettling fear of what lies beyond the veil of human understanding. And in the years that followed, as Julia recounted her tale, the legend of the Mothman grew, not as a myth to be debunked, but as a chilling testament to the mysteries that lurk in the shadows of Point Pleasant, waiting for the next unwary soul to venture too close to the edge. Let us know what you thought of this story in the comments. Thank you for listening. Join us tomorrow for a new untold story. 
Please like, comment, and subscribe for more artificial apparitions. And while you're here, go ahead and listen to the next terrifying story on your screen.